Yeah. What they doing? Oh. I'm in the hood today, everybody. <laughs> What's happening? Not my hood either. I'm in the hood. And this ain't my hood. I ain't, I ain't, I grew up on the east side. I grew up in East Atlanta. Not this side of town. Anyway, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? Hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all is having a blessed day today, man. Today, like I said, I'm in the hood. Old National. You done probably heard um uh two chains talk about old national. Old Nat Al. Hey, you talking about? Bro, I'm at the discount mall. So I don't know if y'all can see that, but if y'all have, haven't been paying attention, it was a meme going around. It was a couple of videos going around, and it was a news story going around about this discount mall being raided for having bootleg and counter bootleg and counterfeit goods like Gucci, Prada, the bootleg designer stuff. You know what I'm saying? They got Jordans and all that stuff. So they was raided and they was closed down for a long time. I'm surprised they opened back up. I just somebody told me, man, you know they opened uh, Old National Flea Market back. I said, what? So, last time I was in the flea market, I was in 285 Flea Market on Glenwood. That was on the east side. I was a little bit more comfortable over there. But Tool is still on deck, so I ain't tripping. Run up, get done up here, you saying. Anyway, you still got to keep your head on the swivel. On the swivel. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? got to keep your head on the swivel. But shout out. I don't even know if they got none of that. I, I was going to go in here and look at some fake shoes and stuff like that. But I don't even know if they got stuff like that no more since they got raided. I don't know if uh, they made them get rid of that stuff or stop selling it. But they got to have something in here. So shout out to the hood. Shout out to the discount mall. Your boy Mike Rich. Finna go check out some um, Fugazis. You feel me? Fufa. Fufifa. Fufifa. Here you talking about. Let's do it, man. Let's, let's, let's. Do it. Yeah, man. So like I said, this is the Discount Mall, a.k.a. Flea Market, Old National, uh, Godby Road, Collet Park area. Like, um, I actually haven't been out here in a very, very long time. It's close to my job, but like I said, this ain't the actual hood that I'm familiar with. It really don't matter because a hood is a hood. You feel me? Bro, you... You walk in there, guy. I ain't want to get them on camera, bro. But they got um security that look like the SWAT team, boy. This one don't even look the same as it did when I when I was here years ago. Um, but I can get, probably get away with the camera a little bit more. The one on 285, they chased me out of there because they they knew I was recording stuff. But that was years ago, so people didn't just openly record stuff and hold a phone to their mouth like I'm doing right now. You know what I'm saying? So. Let's see what we can find. I don't, I don't see any kind of shoes or anything like that. So let, let's just see what they got. All right, before I continue this voiceover, pay attention to the bottom of the screen. You see the Fugazi Amaminir 5s already. I'm going to explain why I'm doing the voiceover right here in a minute and why it's in slow motion. It's a reason for it. Them folk didn't want me in here doing this. Look at the Lakers 4s way over there in the cut with the Nike Air in the back. Look at them. All right, we got some SB. Uh, Fugazi SB. Look, they got stock X tags on them guys, bro. Um, the Laker fours are hard. They need to make that colorway for real, for real. That's crazy. What colorway they did down at the bottom of them four? They got some more Fugazi SBs. They too white. They way too white. Oh my God! Look at the Travis's, bro. Look at the low mocha Travis reverse swoosh. I don't know what you call them. Uh, <laughs> they got the USC Travis low. Uh, they got the black phantom guys. They got the olives, medium olive guys. Just those look fake. I don't know. Y'all tell me them's good reps. Um, they didn't have nothing to go off of them on some of that stuff. Anyway, that's voiceover. <laughs> hey, no folks shook, boy. They kicked me out, bro. Hey, no folks kicked me out, bro. I'm back down. The African cats back down, man. They is shook. The twelve got them folks shook, boy. They kicked me out. They were like, you recording? I said, I ain't recording, man. I'm FaceTime, me and my partner talking. And I turned the brightness on my phone all the way down so you couldn't see. I, at first, I had it up high. And the dude did see me recording because he saw the video on my phone. So I, I couldn't really get out of it after that because one, one of them see you, the rest of them going to come, bro. So I turned my brightness down and you couldn't see me recording. But they, that boy came and said, we close. We close. You can't be recording. You can't be you, I'm talking about they gained on like they were finna, like they were finna, but I had to grab my piece. Like, hey, what y'all doing? Then they were like, when they saw me do that, they called security. I, like, 12 got no folks shook, boy. I, Cause they were running up on me with like three or four on. Like, nah, bro, you can't, like, they were trying to strong on me and jump. I ain't recorded, man, because like I said, I was, tr I was trying to act like I wasn't recording. 
But they had some good fakes there. <laughs> Bro, I wish I could have got it on camera, man. They had a they had a um they had a Union Jordan 2 in there with a different kind of like colorway. That joke was actually that joke was actually hard, bro. I ain't gonna count. I couldn't record nothing though, cause them boys were on me like flies on ish. You feel me? They was on my ass, bro. That was scary. I ain't never seen them. They just like swore after one of them saw me. He said, bro, you can't record. I said, man, I'm on the phone, bro. Ain't nobody recording that. Then everybody, like five or six of them, just came over there and gained up on me. Like, you gotta get out. You can't record. What you what you doing? Like he was gonna take my phone or something. I was like, boy, you, you ain't finna take nothing right out here. Then they when they when they seen me reach, they I wasn't gonna pull the job. You know what I'm saying? Cause they, they wouldn't threaten me like that. But um that's when they called about to call the security. They never called the security, they just called like the manager of all the little thing, the stuff back there. And he was like, bro, you can't record it. I said, bro, I wanna record. I'm trying to spend money with y'all. Y'all don't wanna make no money. They were like, we don't want your money. We don't want the guys are saying we don't. He said, nah. He tried to calm me down. He was like, it's all good, man. It's just you understand the situation. I said, I know y'all got hit, and I know these folk got y'all shook, but come on, bro. Come on, bro. Like, dude was like spazzing, man. So that was a short video. <laughs> I'm gonna try to see if I probably can go to 1025. I don't even know if I want to go on no flea market no more. Cause after that experience, bro, like they don't want nobody to see that fake stuff in them, man. So they just, they, they, they scared, man. Like they literally just opened back up a few weeks ago from getting hit. So, uh, from, from opening back up from the raid. So it's probably was a bad idea to go in there. That, that's probably my bad that I went in there so close to them opening back up. Cause they scared. You could tell, they could tell and they, I like dude was finna close down. He was pulling the door down. He was finna close up the whole shop. Because he seen, because they thought I was recording, which I was a bit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I'm not trying to get y'all in trouble. I ain't 12 or nothing like that. I just want to do a vlog. I'm not finna tell them that because they still wouldn't let me record. But anyway, can't see no fakes today, bro. Um, that's it, man. I guess that's it. If I got something else, I'm, I'm, I'll be back. But other than that, man, it what it is, shouty. All right, man. Let's try this again. Now I'm on the west side, which is still the hood. Metro Mart USA. AKA Metropolitan Flea Market. Bro, this y'all crazy. This is like even worse. I need to like really be on my P's and Q's here. Scammers are already trying to hit me in the parking lot. It's literally signs that say, make sure you don't leave no valuables in your car, lock your car. It's the customers, look, it says customers, please don't participate in the illegal board gambling scam in the parking lot. They will rob you for your money. It literally say that. Don't buy perfume from random individuals in the parking lot because it will cause a skin infection. But it's all crazy. Atlanta, the home of the scammers. Tell me otherwise, bro. All right, part two of the uh, voiceover. Couldn't really talk like I wanted to. And that dude was watching right over my shoulder, so I had to kind of play it off. Here goes some Fugazi um, off-white Jordan 4s. That color was kind of off. It was a little too bright. Uh, here goes some Fufu Union uh, Jordan 1s. These actually look pretty good. Like, I'm not no shoe authenticator, but I could not tell no differences. About, something about the tongue might have been a little off, but this shoe was really good quality and buttery, like, for a Fufu shoe, bro. Like, I didn't see too many differences on this shoe. Like I said, I'm not a shoe authenticator. Some of y'all probably can look at this shoe right away until uh, something was off, but I, I was holding my phone by my waist. That's why the the angle is so awkward. See a couple of these Jordan One shapes is kind of off. They had so many dunks. Here go the off white Jordan Ones. I could tell they were food just from the tongue being so white. Um, that, that shoe, that whole shoe, everything white on that shoe has a kind of like a of a off white vibe to it, like a like a um darker vibe to it. Y'all know what I mean, like a dingy look to it. It, it had this dingy look to it. That was the owner dude, just uh, not the owner dude standing over here on the side somewhere. I was trying my best to record some of this stuff. Um, they had where's the shoe? They had the uh the Kobe Mamba Cedars right there. Uh, I, I'm I'm doing a terrible job trying to record it because I could not. I he was right there. He was literally standing right beside me right here. It was a guy, Paul, in there who messed with the channel heavy. He said, dude, don't mind you taking pictures and stuff. But I was still just trying to be careful. The Off-White 5s look really A1. They look just like my pair. And I know mine, mine came straight from sneakers out. So, um, they had the Yeezy, um, what you call them? I can't think of the name on right now. Uh, and they had a pretty good quality pair of the Phantom uh, joints. These don't look like mine, though. These fragments, they look different. I haven't seen these in hand, these black ones. So I don't know if this portrays a good 
foo. This was a good foo right here. This foo look really. This foo 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 look like mine. Chunky Dunkies. I don't know. No, I mean I can't really remember what that shoe looked like in hand. Uh, they had some um uh, orange lobsters. These Air Force One Tiffany's. Excuse my voice. The Air Force One Tiffany's was like perfect. I couldn't tell the difference at all. These black um Union Ones. The back is what give it away. The back of the shoe kind of goes up like a ramp. Kind of weird. Um, I could tell that shit was fake. Uh, but look at these. Tell me y'all. Hold on. Now I'm going to let my real voice play right here. Tell me y'all went mad with them. Don't nobody like the gray one, but was y'all mad with these red guys? <laughs> bro, them Tiffany F1 ones look flawless. They done got good, boy. They done got good at it. Got these. These don't pull to come out the late on. They done got good at it. Real quick, bro. bro real quick. What I will say is, as far as designer sneakers, you can't tell the difference. The design, I didn't get to show y'all the designer sneakers. But the designer sneakers, that, it make me think a lot of people that be wearing designer sneakers be wearing fakes because the designer stuff look way better than the, the actual sneakers, bro. So beware of anybody who just rock all designer every day unless they rich. Like, be, be aware, beware. Yeah, man, so. Atlanta traffic, I just got out of some thick traffic. <laughs> you know anything about Atlanta, you know they got that traffic game crazy. I know everybody say New York traffic worse, Jersey traffic worse, uh, Cali traffic worse, I hear all that, but Atlanta traffic is a special type of traffic because it ain't just gridlock traffic, it's people who can't drive, like, like dumbasses, you feel me, that can't drive. So anyway, I'm going to cap this video off with going to um, the athlete's foot. The athlete's foot is, excuse my voice, I ain't got it back yet. <clears throat> the athlete's foot is doing tickets for the Thunder Fours. I don't know if I'm going to keep the shoe or not if I get a ticket. I don't know. Only time will tell. But I'm going to go out there uh, at 4 o'clock. They're going to be giving out guaranteed tickets. I wonder if it's going to be a line. I'm going to record all that if it's a line and stuff just to count the video off. Uh, the flea market, man, I couldn't record like I wanted to, as y'all see. Even at the second place, uh, I met my guy Paul, and I shot to Paul. But Paul said that um, the dude cool. He said he be taking pictures of the shoes all the time at the second place I just went to. But I still felt uneasy, guy. He was looking at me. He was looking like some, you ain't going to buy nothing. Why you looking at it? You know what I'm saying? It was some decent reps in there. Some of them, you can tell. Some of them had glaring stuff that you could tell they were fakes, but some of them looked pretty good. But you, I mean, I'm not an authenticator. An authenticator probably can look at the shoe and tell off rip if it's a rip. Even if the shoe looked just like the um, real shoe, though, I probably could wear it and y'all wouldn't know it, but at the same time, I know it. And I just wouldn't feel right wearing no rip, man. I know I probably have never had the Blue Unions, Jordan Ones, that, and that's my grill. That's the only shoe I got that I want. That I don't have in my collection, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not finna put no reps on, bro. I, just, I, just, I got hella shoes. I do not have to wear reps, you know what I'm saying? Um, other than that, but the reason I want to record more at the first place, the place they actually kicked me out of, I wanted to record more in there because they had, they was original. The play, land place I just went to, his shoes was the same colorway as the shoes that actually dropped. He wanted to have like, you know what I'm saying? His shoes was more had legitimized because he had actual drops. He had reps of actual drops that came out. Meanwhile, the other place, <coughs> they got a little bit more creative with their shoes. They had stuff that didn't drop. Man, I wish I could have showed y'all them Union Tools. They had Union Tools that was like a beige color, like a uh, 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 cell, but then it had a tan color. And then it had hits of this like hunter green and brown. Nice suede, nice materials. If Union dropped that Jordan 2 for real, it looked better than every Jordan 2 that dropped. Uh, Union Jordan 2 that dropped. F from them guy were hard. If Union dropped them, reseller would be stupid. I wish I could have seen them, man. They were getting me right before I started recording. They, they came up on me right when I started recording. Um, it's struggling to talk, man. I'm going to get all this thing. I'm going to go to the, um, pick up my ticket for the shoe. But um, um, also, they had I'm on near fives already and I want to look I, I was and they also had they all mama near fives they had chambray Jordan sevens all the upcoming coming shoes they already had like reps of the, all the upcoming shoes plus a whole bunch of shoes that I ain't never seen in my life as far as the colorways and stuff like that Jordan you know what I'm saying but uh, 
They ain't want me in there recording, man. So I, 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 I get it or whatever, but they shook. Anyway, I'm about to go pick up my um, ticket. Hopefully, it ain't no line. I'm going to let y'all see. At Athletes Foot, Kanye's Georgia, giving out tickets for Air Jordan for a ton of things. Let's do it. Oh, uh, yes. Haven't done this in a while. There is a line at Athletes Foot. Not that many people, though. Probably about 10 people, so. Hopefully, I can get one of them 12s, man. We'll see. I'm in the store now, and I ain't even get a chance to get these on camera last time. I just want to show them a hand. Clean ass Jordan 2s. Can't see the inside, but it do have a graphic on the inside. I don't know. They only got them in kids' size. They ain't got them in men, but they had a certain rules to get the uh, Thunder 4s. I'm going to tell y'all in a minute what they is. I just want to see these in hand real quick. I like these. They clean. I get them on sale. That's about it, though. They don't have them in men's sizes, but they do have, of course, these elephant print guys, and they got the uh, Skyline, arguably the two worst Jordans to y'all. I like them, but you know, I'm the two worst Jordans to drop this year to y'all. Yeah, you talking about? That's one win for the day. I've been getting kicked out of flea markets. I mean, down there ran up on, you feel me? I've been in the, uh, see I'm more comfortable on this side of town. Can't really get too comfortable nowhere, but it ain't a whole bunch of scammers in the parking lot. It ain't a whole bunch of crazy junk going on in the parking lot. It ain't a whole bunch of signs that saying be careful, keep your head on the swivel, even though I'm gonna do that anyway. But uh shout it. So in order to get a guaranteed ticket for Jordan 4 Thunders, which I do believe these will sell out, I did get exclusive access on um JD Sports. I'm trying to talk low, because I talk, if I try to hit a high note, it's over with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but um, I did get exclusive access, but I was too late. They had already sold out of pairs on exclusive access. So that little line probably stood in that line for like 10, 15 minutes. Had about, it was more than 10. I said 10 people. Had about 20 people in line. But um, when I got, I looked at the list, you know me, I be snooping. You got to buy, for the men's pairs, you got to buy $30 worth of apparel. I bought a t-shirt, $30 t-shirt. It's cool. I don't know the brand. Let me put a camera right here. I'll show y'all the shirt. Um, I'll show y'all the brand. It's cool. It's called Good Life or something like that. But I just, I couldn't find, they literally don't have anything in there, bro. Like, I could, I, I seen some Nike shorts that was dope. I was like, oh, them shorts hard. Man, them shorts was $75. I was like, nah. I ain't trying to spend $75 on my no shorts today. But this shirt says, it's good life. So you had to spend $30 for men's pairs, $20 for like grade school and toddler. You had to spend like $15 or something like that. Grade school and toddler, you shouldn't have to spend no money. But hey, that's it. Don't nobody buy nothing out of that athlete's foot on a regular basis. So, you know what I'm saying? It be dead enough. Y'all watch my vlogs. Y'all know it be dead as hell in the athlete foot. But I shout, uh, shout out to whoever made this uh, brand, Good Life. I like the yellow on it. Does that match the Thunder Fours? I don't know if the yellow's the same. It don't matter really, because it's, it's in the neighborhood. It says Good Life. I have no idea why this shirt is $32. I guess this brand is just, it's a nice quality for sure. Um, anyway, um, yeah, man, it's clean, bro. So I bought the 32 shirt so I can get a guaranteed ticket for the uh, Thunder Fours. So y'all can expect a pickup vlog for the Thunder Fours. I'm going to buy them. Because I'm a YouTuber and I like the shoe, but as far as keeping them, I don't know yet. I'm gonna put them beside my lightnings. I'm gonna be like, do I have to have both of these yellow faux guys? You know, because one thing, because one thing I didn't like about the the red thunders is they had that cheap look to them. I don't know. I gotta see these in hand and weigh my options. I spent thirty dollars so I can be able to get them, but at the same time. If I don't want them, I ain't gonna keep them. I'm trying to be selective. I like the shoe, but do I like the shoe? We'll just see when I get in the hand. Anyway, y'all comment below. This has been a crazy video uh, adventure. I'm all over the place trying to record fake sneakers getting kicked out. I'm all on, I ain't gonna say the wrong part of town, but just the, tide, the side of town I prefer not to be on. I prefer to be over here by the crib. You feel me? Um, anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all comment below anything that y'all like, dislike, whatever in this video. Then y'all going for the Thunder Fours. Um, would you rock fakes? Would you rock rips? Even if they look super good and don't, don't nobody know it, would you rock them? I can't because I know it. The the 
the OG inside of me, the who grew up looking at Michael Jordan play, who liked these Jordans, that OG won't let me won't let me belt wear, wear reps. I stopped by when reps was real popular back in like 2006 to 2008 when they were real popular and people just wore fake shoes, like it wasn't nothing, like it was all good. I don't know if y'all still did that, but in Atlanta, people wore fakes, obvious fakes, like they was real shoes, like no, like they, it was no big thing to have fake shoes on. It was cool. Um, and that's when I stopped buying Jordans. I started buying just wearing like Air Force Ones and stuff like that and rocking polo and all that. I told this story many times on my channel. I stopped buying Jordans because everybody, it just cheapened it for me, man. It messed it up for me that everybody was rocking these fake. So when you had your real shoes on, it was no different from somebody wearing fakes. They're like, it was, it just kind of messed up the game for me. I don't know if that makes any sense. But anyway, comment below. Anything you think about this video, hit the thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them and keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Go Mike, Rich, no hype, just kick, Jordan, six.